Dai Dai lives with her owner, Mrs. Chang, in Taiwan. Taken from her real mother when she was a tiny baby, her experiences have been anything but normal. Her real home was the forest of Borneo. Now seriously endangered, less than 40,000 orangutans survive in the wild today. Babies are still being taken from their mothers to be sold as pets. But now the race is on to save them. Another tiny little thing. Unless more can be done, the orangutan could soon face extinction in the wild. But Dai Dai is one of the lucky ones. Her owners have found it in their hearts to set her free. Dai Dai is on a journey home, and this is her story. Dai Dai was once a wild orangutan. Now seven years old, she has lived with Mrs. Chang in Taiwan ever since she was a year old baby. The two have developed an extraordinary relationship. Dai Dai can understand hundreds of words. Dai Dai, kiss me. Give me a big kiss here. Okay, push the tape in. That's good. Don't pull it out. Give Mama's back a massage. Massage Mama. That feels good. Okay, I've got to drive now. Mrs. Chang and Dai Dai have an almost mother-daughter relationship and are seldom apart. Dai Dai was born far away in the forests of Borneo. It was here that her real mother was killed by hunters. Once thought to be mysterious giant beasts, half human, half ape, orangutans are the least known of all the great apes. This mother will teach her infant everything it needs to know for survival. She may not give birth again until her baby, now about one year old, reaches the age of seven. Now faced with extinction, fewer than 40,000 wild orangutans survive. Their rainforest homes are being cut down, they are hunted for food, and babies are sold as pets. Dr. Willie Smits, with the Indonesian Ministry of Forestry, runs a center that cares for orphaned orangutans. See the stump? Part of his hand has been cut off. He was clinging to his mother, just like he's here, and then the mother was beheaded, and in the same cut, his hand was uh, severed. They brought him in because he was bleeding quite badly. He's getting better, but he's just maybe four weeks from the jungle. So you can imagine what a stress he's still suffering of. Dai Dai, too, was just a baby when she was taken from her mother.
Though the tragedy continues throughout Indonesia, for now the international trade has been stemmed. Until the late 1980s, as many as 1,000 orphaned orangutans were shipped from the forests of Borneo to Taiwan. Many more never survived the difficult journey. Thousands of miles from their rainforest home, captive orangutans were smuggled to Taiwan and sold as household pets. Some still live here in Taiwan's Snake Alley. Our hidden cameras found orangutans used as lures to attract tourists. Though the smuggling to Taiwan is all but stopped, these tragic lives bear witness to a dark era of the orangutan's history. Mrs. Chang and Dai Dai are exceptional. They've hardly spent a day apart since Dai Dai arrived in Taiwan more than six years ago. Orangutans became a fad here when a popular TV program featured one as the perfect household pet. Now, even though they live in a high-rise apartment building, Mr. and Mrs. Chang thought Dai Dai would make a good playmate for their son. I love Dai Dai. I really love her. We all treat her like a member of our family. My son treats her like his own little sister. And we treat her like our own daughter. We all love her very much. And whatever we have, there's always one share for her. Much like an unruly child, Dai Dai requires constant attention and tremendous patience. Play from this end. Just use one finger at a time. Play back to here. Now once again. Not like that. This end. Play from this end. No, no, you mustn't. Come back, Dai Dai. Dai Dai has the run of the entire apartment, but it's still not enough. If Mrs. Chang doesn't keep her occupied, she quickly becomes mischievous. What began as a cuddly baby will someday outgrow Mrs. Chang's house and home. Dai Dai, be a good girl. 
Mrs. Chang left her job to take care of Dai Dai and now finds the task increasingly difficult. At seven, Dai Dai is still an adolescent. An adult will be seven times stronger than a man and live for more than 50 years. Don't take things from the table. Put it back. It's a problem shared by other orangutan owners. But now there's a way for these animals to finally go home. <laughs> Amidst the rainforests of Borneo, there is hope for once captive orangutans. The Wana Reset Center is run by Dr. Willie Smiths. In a unique program, orphans are taught how to survive in the wild again. These little ones here are around a year old. Some of them are real tiny, like little David, he's still under a year. So what we are doing here is taking care of these um, orangutans that come in, screen them for their health, and if they are found healthy, we put them into a kind of playgroup. And the uh, bigger ones go into bigger socialization groups where we establish a good group structure before they go out to the forest. New arrivals are taught to recognize the edible fruits and leaves of the forest and to rely on each other instead of humans. The center is rehabilitating more than 100 orangutans, and there's a waiting list of 200 more to come. Many are registered with the Taiwan Orangutan Foundation. Dai Dai is one of them. When Mrs. Chang first learned that Dai Dai could return to the wild, she didn't know what to do. To her, the thought was like losing a child. But to their credit, the Chang family looked beyond their feelings and considered instead what was best for Dai Dai. Let's go sit over there. Stop it. Go over there and sit down. I think it would be better for Dai Dai if she can go back to the forest. We really don't know how she'll manage, but we all hope that one day she will move freely in the trees and maybe be able to have babies of her own. For more than six years, Dai Dai's only company has been that of humans. But in less than one month's time, she will begin a remarkable transition, leaving all she has ever known far behind. A mission is underway in eastern Borneo to rescue illegally held orangutans. Now going into the village of Muara Bahau, and uh, just heard the information on another orangutan. We're going to try to confiscate it. The whole village is flooded. There hasn't been a flood like this for the last two years, so it's really very, very difficult to get in here. The operation is a combined effort of the army, police, forestry department, and Dr. Smith's Want to Reset Center. This area is home to the Dayak, a tribal people who practice head hunting before the turn of the century. When the custom was banned, the Dayaks turned to orangutan skulls for their ceremonies. Here, orangutans are still eaten, and the babies are kept to be sold as pets. Another tiny little 
Oh, very recently captured, really aggressive this one. Yeah, yeah, I just told you again how long ago this was here. Yeah, he's just telling me they just caught it two days ago. Still going on. Look, really completely wild little animal. Kalau dia tidak dibunuh, sama dengan ibu, ibu tidak mungkin akan mau lepas anak ini. Untuk siapapun bisa mengambil. Lady, you care about your child. Would you ever give it up? No, of course not. And an orangutan mother is never ever going to give up a baby. So if you are starting to lie and tell us stories here, you get in much more bigger trouble. You better tell us the truth. And what's happened to the mother? The mother is probably killed. Can't be anything else. They say, well, we just met it walking on the ground on a mountain nearby here. This is just bullshit. And did she know that it was illegal? Yes. You know it. That's very serious. In these remote areas, families follow old traditions in order to earn money. Confiscation seems to be the only method of making it clear that to own an orangutan is illegal. Four more babies are recovered within a few short miles of one another and are now on their way to the center. Even more dangerous than the threat of poachers is the destruction of this area's rainforest. For each tree that falls, there are fewer branches to climb. Dai Dai herself may have come from these forests, and now her story continues thousands of miles away. Tonight is the last night that Mrs. Chang and Dai Dai will be together. Time for one last bath and time to bring an end to Dai Dai's remarkable human-like upbringing. Stay still, I'm going to wash you. Stand up and turn around. I'll make you nice and clean. Lie down. Put your head in the water. Down further. Down further. That's right. Oh, good girl. Tomorrow, Dai Dai will leave her familiar world of bathrooms and bedrooms and sleep no more next to her human companions. Lie down. For human and ape, it will be a rare and difficult parting. Give me a kiss. It's time for sleep. Now I'll kiss you. Settle down. I'm going to turn up the lights now. Two thousand miles away in Indonesia, the rescue mission goes on. The team has now confiscated eight orangutans. Now we're going to the house of uh, one of the people that works for this concession, where they have spotted an orangutan, and we're going to try to drop in completely unexpected. Hello. 
Lu dapatnya di mana itu orang utangnya, Pak? Itu dulu dikasih orang dulu, tapi This sudah... man says that he did have an orangutan, but it died. But he's claiming that there is another orangutan from living nearby. Hold on this, Chris. Let me try to get this head on. Oh my gosh. Indeed, just captured from the forest. Here, Chris. I don't think they've kept it for very long. To be able to keep one alive yeah. is young, it's quite an incredible feat. Just two months old. Just bought. nine new confiscated orangutans and this is definitely going to cause us some trouble taking care of all these new arrivals the wanna reset center is now caring for more than 140 orphaned orangutans most are between the ages of six months in five years. There is a hidden death toll here. For each survivor, one mother has died, and it's likely that at least four others have died along the way. Let's have a look at the new arrivals. Gee, he's so small. We'll have to make sure we keep him, keep him quite warm. He's got no teeth at all. Yeah, now he's already put in infrared light on. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to have him months? cuddle your little new teeth? Yeah, teddy? it'll be a very hard one this age to actually um, to keep him going. He's going to need the constant attention of people that he'll get from his mother. But he opens his mouth. Huh? See? see, that's OK. You should yeah. get him to drink. Yeah. Yeah. Thirsty, aren't you? Hungry? Yeah. All right. Mm. All right. He must be about three weeks now. The guy said he had him for two weeks, mm -hmm. but the umbilical cord the scar is still fresh. fresh so exactly. At most, no teeth at all, and just the heart opening of the mouth reaction. That Can't month? be much. About three weeks, month. Yeah. I think he has had enough for a while. Yeah. Put him in his back and let's see what we can okay. do with that little, little wild one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put him in front of the ultra red lights. Yeah. Should I try to get that little wild one yeah. there? So I know, at a hammer, yeah. When confiscated from the flooded Dayak village, this baby, then only days from the forest, at first appeared aggressive. No. All right, here he is, the real wild one. Amazing. Look, he's taking it, he's taking it. Hey, hey, amazing. He's just taking it, you know. Because this is the little wild little biter. Look, look, don't bite it, he knows it's okay. Hey. I think that only a few days ago he was with his mother. His world's <laughs> completely changed in that time. Hey. See, his lips, his lips are still tense and he, he is a little bit afraid, but mm. look, what a change. Wow. Interested already in... What's that? Put you in there for observation. Oh. <laughs> it's not going to be too hard to examine later at all, are you? No, no, you'll be fine. You'll get your medical card. <laughs>
The tiny baby, however, could not recover from the stress of his capture. And like so many newborn orphans, he would die 12 days later. The day has come for Dai Dai's first step towards freedom. Mr. and Mrs. Chang deliver Dai Dai to the Taipei Zoo, where she will join other orangutans already waiting in quarantine. Because of their close links to people, orangutans can easily catch human diseases. Dai Dai's health must be sound before she can begin the trip. Stay on my back. It's okay. It's okay. Mama's holding you. Don't be afraid. It's okay. It's okay. Don't be afraid. I'm holding you. Let me see you climb up. Then I'll take you home. Climb up high. For Dai Dai, there can be no other way. And though Mrs. Chang will visit her from time to time, she must remain in isolation for three months. Dai Dai's three months of quarantine are now over. She and 11 other orangutans are now about to make the long journey back to the forests of Borneo. Are you okay? You're being a very good girl. Stop it. Don't do that. You're all right. To ease her stress, Mrs. Chang will accompany Dai Dai on their flight to Indonesia and the island of Borneo. to freedom, to a world that exists only, perhaps, in faint memory. A kind of Eden awaits the precious cargo of survivors. For your own safety, please remain safe until the plane has come to complete stop. Welcome to Indonesia. Willie Smith is on hand to welcome Dai Dai and the other new arrivals. received 12 orangutans from Taiwan and we're going to take them out to the one reset station and get them out of these cages as soon as possible. Okay. I'm feeling very sad, but I'll be happy eventually because Dai Dai will go back to the wild someday. There is the Sungai Wine Forest in the back where we are going to release the orangutans. Uh, Imagine eh? all this way from probably smuggled out from uh, East Kalimantan, taken all the way to Taiwan, coming back by plane, and, and now being brought back here to Indonesia. In another two months, they'll be out there. <laughs> here we are at the center. The orangutans will be released into large cages where they will have room to move. <laughs> 
Take my hand. I'll lead you. Come on, Dai Dai. Mama will carry you. Mama will carry you. Don't be naughty. Let go. Do you want me to carry you piggyback just like we used to do? Mama will carry you. Would you like that? Give Mama a kiss. You're frightened, aren't you? It will be all right. Go inside. Climb inside. Hey, Dai Dai. She's very afraid. She's very afraid. She's not sure at all what's going to happen. Dai Dai. Mm, her lips are very tense. That's still the normal jungle look for a tense. As Dai Dai moves one step closer to freedom, she leaves Mrs. Chang one step further behind. The time has come to say goodbye. I love you. This is a better place for you. You'll be much happier here. The Wana Reset Center has successfully returned more than 30 orangutans to this area of the forest. Dai Dai will soon join them once her training is complete. Four days have passed since Dai Dai's arrival. Although Dr. Smith rarely enters the cages, he does so today to encourage Dai Dai's interaction with the others. Look how she now doesn't bother anymore about the others coming near to her, not pushing them away. Good, make some friends here. Yeah. Right, Dai Dai. And she's completely relaxed. She doesn't look that sad now to me, but she has something in her eyes that, well, it's because it must be, you know? Dai Dai. Dai Dai. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Now it will be up to Dai Dai to learn from her own kind, to climb instead of walk, and to dine on leaves instead of stir-fried noodles. But amid so much progress, there comes a setback. During a routine health check, Dai Dai is diagnosed with a human illness. Dai Dai has tuberculosis. You can see the um, diffuse lesions here yeah. spread right throughout the lungs. That is a real shame. We got to take her out of the group. She was just doing so well. Tuberculosis does mean a return to isolation. Unless Dai Dai can recover, she may never return to the forest. The Ministry of Forestry receives a tip that yet another animal trader is dealing in captured orangutans. The information we got that this is a trader who has gibbons and has orangutans. An undercover team reports that a variety of illegal animals are being kept for sale here. But only two orangutans can be found. I'm saying that uh, you will give up this orangutan and if that is the law, I will give it up. If you catch us, I want to show you the other places where you also have to catch the people. It's desperate for some attention. Despite the combined efforts of the Forestry Department and other law enforcement agencies, the plunder continues throughout Indonesia. In some markets, orangutan skulls are openly sold as tribal artifacts. This one over here is very fresh. It still has the meat on it. So this is really uh, a freshly hunted orangutan. How big a problem have we got here? As long as they can sell to tourists, they will go on hunting orangutans. As long as they can sell baby orangutans, they will go on. As long as they can sell meat. So we have to attack on several fronts in order to protect the orangutans. Though established in 1925, conservation laws have seldom been enforced. Dai Dai has been treated for nine months now and is finally over her tuberculosis. Back with the others, she's on track again for release. Dai Dai, they're getting their daily leaves now. They love it. Yeah, some more for ya. Dai Dai, Dai Dai. Yeah, see, Dai Dai is also eating the fordia leaf. Come on, take it, girl. Yeah. She's established herself perfectly. And because she's so eager to imitate people, she seemed very successful in imitating the others, eating the fruits and the leaves here. She's wonderful. Yeah. Makan, pull it, pull. Ah, Dai Dai got her branch. That's what she likes. It's very, very strong, big. <laughs> She's now doing wonderful. She really has become the queen in this uh, group. She's having all the struggles. She's having the little wrestling games with all the others. And, uh, well, it's obviously that she's the winner. But you see, she's not hurting any of the others. Actually, if others are fighting too hard, she will separate them. And tomorrow, Saturday, she'll be going out to the forest and really be the queen in the forest. <laughs> the day has come for Dai Dai's group to be moved into the forest. But with their newfound climbing skills, they're almost impossible to catch. Even Dai Dai herself has come to be wary of human contact. And to ease the stress of her final journey, she is sedated. Dai Dai. You see how strong she got. You, need, you really need four or five people just to grab that arm and keep her in touch. She's so strong that people can't go in and just take her out anymore. She really feels cheated now. Look at that. Fortunately, you don't need to worry about people anymore after tomorrow. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, it's going to be okay. Huh? How 
They shall be out of here in the holding cage in the forest and then three more days and then real freedom. There's still a couple of crocodiles, sea crocodiles, living in this uh, swamp. A couple of years ago somebody got his foot bitten off here by a crocodile and this story has kept us, uh, has helped us a lot in keeping people out of this swamp. Sungiwine Nature Reserve is nearly 25,000 acres of protected forest. The team will carry Dai Dai and her nine other companions three miles into the forest. One of the first orangutans to be released here, Charlie made the trip from Taiwan more than three years ago. Today's group will join the now more than 50 ex-captives who successfully live here. Dai Dai will spend the final three days inside a treetop holding area, adjusting to the sights and sounds of her new home and overcoming the stress of her journey. Each day, the newcomers will be fed at this site, a place where they can return during their early days of freedom. Once released, the center will continue to monitor their progress. But for now, they can only wait. Release day has finally arrived. Mrs. Chang has made the long journey to witness a milestone in Dai Dai's life and in her own. So today is the day for her freedom. From a special hiding place, 70 feet above the holding area, they watch as the cage door is opened for the last time. And Dai Dai is finally free. Really big for her age. But I think 
she's seen this. She's going up. Oh, yeah, she's coming up. She's right down there. I cannot let her in. She knows that there's no way she can come in like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she must know that she can't come in like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she can come up here. See how good they do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> To value the freedom of a wild creature is to become free ourselves. Today, Dai Dai and a small group of her kind have become, in a way, even more rare. For of the countless orangutans taken from these forests, they have remarkably returned. These are one of our closest relatives. Their future is in our hands.